Hey everybody, buongiorno a tutti. I am coming to you live from Florence and as you can see the Ponte Vecchio is in that background and I really hope you can hear me because it's very windy, thank god, because it started to become really really freaking hot. Um, and let me take off my sunglasses, that's a bit kinder for you viewers back home. So um, I have had the amazing idea of giving you five tips to really help you turn your Italian dream into reality because you know we can all dream very big and have this plan and like someday I'm going to move there but how do you actually do it? Well I did it nearly eight years ago. I've been living here for nearly eight years, it's incredible. And uh, I just want to share with you how I did it so it becomes easier for you too to take your own leap to Florence, Italy, Rome, Naples, Venice, wherever your heart lies. Oh, this has a really cool effect on my hair. Anyway, <laughs> um, so today the first tip I want to share is, um, you know, get clarity. Because when you have a dream, you cannot pursue it, you cannot follow your dream if you don't have any clarity, like real clarity on what you really want. Um, if we keep on saying, you know, I just want to move to Italy and go like, yeah, I want to eat gelato and pizza and, and you know, I dream of my Italian man and, you know, that's not a real dream, that's just a fantasy. So I would like to invite you to get into, you know, the real life and see that your dreams are actually possible, but they need to become very, very clear and very precise and very concrete because if you don't have anything concrete to work towards then you're not going to get anywhere you're going to just keep on spinning your wheels and things won't change for you you will just have your you know Ponte Vecchio poster in your room and you'll stare at it and think oh someday I might I might move there but until you actually get a clear idea of what you really want you can't really start making anything happen so get clarity. What is it that you want? Do you want to move to Florence? Do you want to move to Rome? Do you want to um, teach English here? Or do you want to be a babysitter? Or do you want to set up an NGO? Or do you want to work for a big fashion company? Yeah, I'm never saying like um, you can't do it. It's just that you do need to get clarity on what it is that you want. Because then you can start planning and actually get prepared for your big leap. For me, it was, I just knew, um, I, was, I was doing my teacher training um, final project placement abroad in, in uh, Piombino in Tuscany. Everybody always says, why the hell Piombino? Um, because I had this language internship, language assistantship. And I remember teaching there, it was really cool, but then on some day I was a bit bored. Piombino is a very small town in the south of Tuscany the seaside town from which you take the ferry to Elba. And um, I went to Florence one day and I remember being here and really feeling that, yes, this is the feeling that I love about being in Italy. You know, this is really the essence of Italy for me. And I was like, I want to have this feeling all the time. And so I think that was the moment when I realized that Florence was the place where I wanted to be at. And so the year after that, I booked a language course here, or I went on holiday, I think. And the year after that, I booked a language course here. And so I just kept on coming back. So I knew it was Florence for me. Um, and that's also why at the moment when I had the freedom to decide, you know, when my relationship of six years came to an end and I was ready to change my life when I was still living in Holland, teaching English at a secondary school, and I could ask myself the question, what is it that you really want? And I remember, you know, very clearly hearing Florence, Italy in my mind and having that destination allowed me to actually make plans and to really say, hey, if this is what, what I want, what can I do to make it happen? And so that's when it all started. But I knew what I wanted because I had already been here, I'd already had experiences, I'd already studied Italian here, you know, so I already had a pretty clear image of what it was that I wanted. Um, I once had a discovery call with, uh, which is always free by the way, with a lady that was interested in working with me and uh, she said, yeah, yeah, I want to move to Florence. So I said, oh, so how, wh when were you here? How was it? What was your experience? Uh, she said, well, I've never been to Florence. And I ended the conversation right there because I do not work with people that don't know what they're talking about. I don't just help you get to your Disney paradise. No, I want you to be rooted in reality. Know that living in Italy is also freaking hard, but it's not impossible. It's fantastic if you make it so for yourself. And a good plan, having clarity, is where it all starts. 
Um, and then once you have that crazy idea, when you have clarity and you're like, hey, I want to move to Florence or I want to move to Rome or wherever you want to move to, give yourself to permission to really have that desire. You know the biggest block that my clients experience on their way to taking the leap to Italy? Is their own mind saying, hey, I shouldn't want this. I should be, you know, doing the nine to five, the picket fence and everything. Um, and really do the life the way I'm supposed to, you know, get like graduate and get a good job. And that's what people expect from me. But it's if that's not yours, if that's not your your kind of life, then why live it? It's yours. I mean, you know, at some point you're going to die. You're going to ask yourself, hey, have I been happy in my life? And you can only answer that with yes when you go for what you truly desire. But you need to allow yourself to have that desire. Of course, for me, it was weird that after only three, three years of teaching English in Holland and having a, a, a perfect house and having a quite okay relationship and having everything. I mean, I was paying my pension fund. I was fine. And I was bored to fucking death. So I was not happy. And so I was willing to throw it all around and start afresh, following my dream, following my bliss, really doing what set my heart on fire. And of course, that's scary because some people might be like, what are you doing? I mean, are you crazy? And I was like, uh, I don't really care. I really don't care because my desire was bigger than my fear. And so it all starts with allowing yourself to have that desire and not making yourself bad for it. It's what you want for a reason. So go for it. Um, so that's tip one. Tomorrow I'm going to be back with tip two. And that's all about making a plan so that you can actually make it happen. Because there's one thing about dreaming, having the clarity, having the idea of giving yourself permission, and then taking practical steps to actually make it happen. Do know I'm a life coach, as you know, it says so in my title, Life Coach Sophie, and I help women take the leap to Italy. So if this is what you truly desire, don't uh, hesitate to reach out and we can always schedule a free call and talk about your plan and I'll tell you how I can help you make it happen. I did it, so you can do it as well. Have a fantastic day. This is uh, Sophie Charlotte from Florence and um, Porto Vecchio and it's very windy and there's lots of traffic, but that's fine. That's Florence. Okay, so have a fab day and talk to you tomorrow. Ciao, everybody. Ciao, ciao.